so you want to make an arch backdrop. Well, you've come to the right place. Today I've partnered with my friends at Cricut to show you just how easy a DIY this is. So whether you're hosting a baby shower or maybe you're getting married or maybe you just wanna celebrate your own birthday, this is such a beginner friendly DIY. Now there's a couple ways you could do this. You could obviously go and buy wood, which is heavy and more expensive, but I wanna start off with the beginner friendly way. So let's head to the hardware store. When you get there, you're gonna to wanna to go down the insulation aisle. I grabbed this four by eight sheet of insulation and brought it home with me. Okay, so we have our styrofoam, which is taking up my whole studio. This thing is huge. And we are going to cut it into an arch. It's quite a simple task, honestly. How tall do you want this? The average person's like, what? Five foot to six foot? So I think I'm gonna do seven feet as our height. So I'm just gonna mark off where seven feet feet is. So all you're going to need is some string, a really sharp exacto knife with a fresh blade, a push pin, and a marker. Now you're going to need to know where approximately the middle of the board is. So just doing like a rough mark. Then you're going to take your string and you're going to tie it to your marker. The other side of the string we're going to attach to our push pin, but we need to kind of figure out is this a good height to put the push pin? Does it need to go higher? Does it need to go lower? So I'm just holding my marker on that line, taking the string going to the edge of the board, and then I'm bringing it up and I'm seeing where it's hitting. Mine's hitting a little bit above seven feet, so I'm gonna go down just a tad. I'm gonna do it again. Mine's hitting about perfectly, so that's where I'm gonna put my push pin. Then put your marker where on your top. This is at my seven foot mark, and then you can tie the string, just wrap it around a couple times. Take my lid off my marker and then I'm gonna draw my arch. Try to keep your marker held the same way as you're making your arch, just so that the marker kind of like stays on the same angle. And there you go, there is your arch. Make sure you have a fresh blade on. That's super important to making this go smoothly. To get the smoothest cut and not like a really jagged one, you wanna go like this, push it in, Instead of just pulling it through, you're gonna get a really jagged cut if you do that. All right, and then once it's done, you can remove the top piece and you have yourself an arch. To personalize our arch, I'm gonna give it a coat of paint. You could paint it whatever color you want, but I didn't wanna just stop there. The star of the show really truly is my Cricut Joy Extra. It's a smart cutting machine that can basically help you design and personalize almost anything you can think of. And the awesome part is it requires no design experience. I'm still learning new ways every day to use mine. So I'm just connecting my computer via Bluetooth to my cutting machine. And then I'm launching Cricut Design Space. It's basically a free software. I'm clicking new project, going to text. And this was the text that I chose. I just like love this font. I kind of wanted to make a wedding arch. So my idea was to do like the Carters, like how people do their last names when, you know, they get married. So this is kind of how I want it to sit on the board, but because I want the letters to actually be like almost eight inches, I'm actually gonna cut it on one line um, so that the letters are quite big. Checking to make sure everything lines up and it does, then you're pretty much ready to start cutting. You could just select your material. In our case, we're using Smart Vinyl. I love this stuff. It's designed to cut perfectly with Cricut machines. So the computer is just asking me to load my material. The Cricut's gonna check and make sure I have enough material to cut my project. And then we can go ahead and start cutting. If you're interested in getting your own Cricut Joy Extra, I've gone ahead and put everything in the down bar, what I use, the vinyl I use, the machine I have. Definitely comes in handy for projects like this, but also just like, projects around your house in general. Once our project has been cut, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the excess vinyl. I just wanna make sure that everything cut exactly how I want it to. And then I'm just taking out the little circles in between the A's and the E's, that kind of thing. Once I'm all done, I'm just gonna cut the two in half. That way, when I apply this onto our arch, I can do what I said, which is put the on a separate line. Then I'm just taking some of Cricut's transfer tape and I'm putting that over the vinyl. This is gonna help us transfer the vinyl onto the arch. It's a pretty cool thing. You wanna make sure that you're using as little transfer tape as possible just because 
Of course, we painted a shiny surface. This might take off some of the paint. So maybe just cut out around the letters if you can. For placement, I kind of like having the the off to the one side. So just taking my scraper, going over these letters too. You have to be careful with the transfer tape to use as little as possible. You don't want like a ton extra because it could pull off the paint. Like it just pulled off a little paint here. You can just touch it up with a brush. Not a big deal, but you should use as little transfer tape as you can so they don't have to worry about a ton of the paint peeling off. Okay, so when I put the letters on, it did take up some of the paint. That was kind of expected. You can see right there where, where it happened. Um, and I just like painted that back in, so. But not a big deal, it looks so good. Typically, you're not gonna have a corner to put this in. I wanted to make legs for it that could come on and off so that when I'm transporting it to different places, I don't have to worry about the legs like getting broken. I'm actually gonna use these brackets. So I'm gonna take two pieces of wood and I'm gonna use some No More Nails. This stuff gets tacky immediately. And then we're just gonna take our bracket and screw it into the wood. So this is how our arch ended up looking. I wanted to add some balloons trailing down the one side. I love when people do that. I also love when they do like a big plant or something on the other side. I just think that looks so good. I mean, I'd be thrilled to have this at my wedding. I hope that this showed you it's not as hard of a task as maybe you thought it might be. It's actually quite simple, very DIY beginner friendly from you know making the arch to the vinyl lettering it's all something that i feel like anybody could do really what i love about the cricut text on this arch is that you can simply remove it and then reuse the arch again for any special occasion that you have in mind that's what i do with mine i've used it in so many different occasions by just simply changing the text thank you so much for watching and thank you again to cricut for sponsoring this video i linked everything that i used down below including the cricut joy Good luck with your arch making. Bye guys. Bye.